the top right hand side we have VMware Workstation housing the versions of CyberAlarm that I've looked at. Uh, CyberAlarm 5.4 uh, is the infamous test build. Production of 5.10 is the pre-built pre OVA that they supplied on October 5th. And CentOS 7 is a completely fresh install of CentOS with the CyberAlarm installer already downloaded. So let's go ahead and fire that up so we can wait for it to boot. At the top left side is a proof of concept application that I've created to prove that the production version is indeed still vulnerable to an RCE exploit. And at the bottom we've got a network attached storage device with one mapped drive uh, containing sensitive company data. And as you can see we've got one text file with just fake information for now. But this is to show that this resides on our network and it's behind a firewall. So whilst we're waiting for that to boot up, let me just show you a quick port scan of our IP address. Every single port closed. Um, in the interest of transparency, the only thing I've redacted here is obviously our IP. So let's wait for the box to boot. There we go. And let's sign in. As you can see, we've got one file, install cyberalarm.tar.gz, which was created October 5th at 1748. So if we go ahead and extract that file, and run the installer. It'll take a few moments, but whilst we're waiting, keep your eye on the time here. That's just for you to see that the video hasn't been cut or spliced in, in any way. Okay, last part of the install now, so it's installing the CyberAlarm files. Any moment now you'll start to see the payload will be executed and we'll start to exfiltrate data from behind the firewall and upload it to our attacker and there it goes. So there's the first file. Unfortunately though this is now live so if we delete that from our network you'll see it actually deletes eventually from the attacker's network. So let's go ahead and create a new file while we're waiting. We'll save that and a short while later you'll see it appears on the attackers server. Now even if you were to uninstall CyberAlarm at this point it won't matter. The damage has already been done and the attacker is now on your network. Just bear in mind they can just as easily pull data as they can update and add data to your network. So if they were to execute ransomware it could cripple your business but of course you could call the police for help.